What's up, hockey players? Welcome back to Francis Hockey Academy. Today, we're going to talk about the 2 on 2 spread forecheck. Now, before we jump into this one, I'm going to put a video up in the top left corner about the 2 on 2 stack, which is another variation of the 2 on 2. So, I highly suggest you go watch that one so you understand both types of 2 on 2 forecheck. So, let's jump into our 2 on 2 spread today. So the first thing we need to understand on a 2-1-2 two -two spread is we have to have speed and numbers when we dump the puck in. If we're going to change, we cannot set this up because we're not going to have the pressure or the numbers. So assuming that we have all three forwards dumping the puck in and then setting the pressure, we'll go into our 2-1-2 two -two spread. So F1's job is to pressure from the middle out to the boards and then force this X behind the net. So we want to prevent them from getting passes up to the boards. And then we want to seal this near post right here. Because we want to force them directly behind the play. Or the net, excuse me. As this is happening, F2 needs to come through the middle. Read where the puck is moving, where F1 is going. Then F2 is going to come in and try to sandwich them behind the net. Okay, so we want two things here. We either want to force a turnover somewhere below the goal line because of the strong pressure, or we want to force this X, we want to force this X to continue their route behind the net, see that they have pressure, and then try to wrap it, okay? So if we have a turnover behind the net, great. We'll set up our offensive attack right from there. But if we do end up getting that wrap, F3 is going to come through the middle, stay in the high slot area because F3 is vital with shifting with the play here, and so he's in defensive position. But as this puck is rimmed, F3 is going right away to create pressure. Okay, so this is the 2-1-2 two, two stacked, and it involves all three forwards being part of the forecheck here, reading and reacting to the play. And when they do react, they're doing so with urgency and aggression on the puck. So to reiterate, we either want turnovers below the goal line or we want to force them to wrap it to the weak side so we can work to seal and contain on those boards and try to win that puck battle in their defensive zone so we can go on the attack. So hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.